Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut the, the, the net. So very, very carefully with a pair of scissors. Okay, so be careful because it's sharp. You're going to cut the net. And you don't have to cut it all out in one go. So you can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, very carefully cut that bit off. I'm going to cut then this bit. Now in here, what, you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the end of the scissors to go into that corner there. And then I'm going to cut this bit off and then snip off the end. Just watch your fingers. Okay, so I'm not going to cut round all in one go. What I'm doing is I'm cutting out each line, if you like, as I go. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Don't worry too much. Well, you want to get it accurate, but if you cut part of the tab off by mistake, that's fine. But the sides of the box, the sides of the cuboid, need to be accurate. So just take your time. You can see I'm holding it up in the air as I do it, and I'm kind of moving it around in my, my hands. Cutting with the pair of scissors is, isn't as easy as it seems sometimes, particularly if you're cutting out things that are accurate, like, like this. But you can see that I'm just snipping off piece by piece, trimming it down until I get to the stage where I've got my net. Now if you do cut off a bit by mistake, then obviously keep the keep the bit. So if you cut off one of the tabs by mistake, keep it and obviously you can you can you can sell it back on. Um okay so at this stage we're gonna we're gonna well, before we fold it we need to score it because if you try and fold it without scoring and scoring is obviously what we're going to do is just run um, the kind of blunt end of a knife on the edge there if you, you're never going to get it to fold properly okay so it's very important that you do you do score it so um, you know cut the knife like so and what I'm going to do is get a ruler and very carefully I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to hold the knife um, almost like a pen for this. Okay, just be careful. There is a serrated edge on that, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut, it's not as sharp. Okay, it's just a dinner knife. So put the ruler on the edge. I know what I'm gonna do is I wanna work from, from right to left. If you're left-handed, you could go from left to right. Um, and then just run the blunt edge of the knife you're not going to cut. You don't want to cut through the card. So whatever you do, don't use a sharp knife because you'll end up cutting through the card. Um, just going to rub it a couple of times, and I'm just going to work my way from right to left, and I'm going to kind of do the the longer lines if you like first. Okay. So I've done all the lines from left to right. I'm going to turn the card around, and I'm going to do the same thing again. And this way, you guarantee that you're going to do. You're going to score all the lines and you're not going to miss any out. There we go. Okay. Nice score line. I'm actually going to turn this one round. Turn it round so that's a bit easier. There's more of the ruler on the card. And there you go. I think I've scored all those lines. That's a pretty, pretty quick process. Now before you stick it together, you want to fold it, and you want to get these. You want to get these folds really, really sharp. Okay, so you're going to do that by running your fingers along, along them, like so. So we get a really crisp, nice fold. So this is similar to using existing packaging. Obviously, when you folded the net the opposite way round. This is what you were doing. That's what you've been doing. There we go. And then we're going to go this way. And one, I think there's one more to do. I think I'm done. Just make, just check you have done them all. Yeah, I think I have. Okay, and that's it. So the, the, obviously the last thing to do is to stick it together. Okay. And um, I've got some cellar tape here from earlier. Oops. So I'll get my tape. So if you remember earlier, what I was doing is I was getting the. So I'm going to stick 
the end kind of together. And we get a piece of tape and I'm just going to put it on there. I'm not too fussed about the length of the tape, I just want to stick it for now. If you want to measure out the tape so it's the length of the box, that's fine. And like, it's, like I said, it's a hole in place. Pull that over like that, and there you go. That's stuck together. And then I'm going to do the ends. Just make sure I've got some tape for that. I have. Um, the tabs, obviously, you, you see what you see how the tabs work now. Okay, obviously, um, you've had experience of packaging before. That's how the that's how the box kind of stays together. The tabs kind of holds themselves in place. And then piece of tape over the end there. Try and get a nice crisp fold. Any spare tape, just trim off. Okay, take the tape off your scissors as well because otherwise you'll get clogged up. And then the last one, the last one's at the top here. Again, you know, find it's finding what works best for you. How you manipulate and hold the box, and there you go. Okay, so you've got a nice cuboid. I mean, these cuboids are better if if you've been accurate. These cuboids are better than the than the, the, the packaging that you're recycling. You'll tend to get a better finish on this cuboid than you will of the others. Okay, so that's how to make your own cuboids, and I would like you to have have a go at that because it's obviously it's a little bit more complex than just recycling or reusing packaging that you found or even just drawing around it okay there's the skill involved in doing in doing this is is is, is of a higher level because you're using a ruler you're being accurate you're drawing straight lines you, you're measuring you're marking out so th this is obviously a lot more advanced and a lot more skills are involved than just recycling a piece of packaging that you've found okay right so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to arrange your, your, your blocks, your cube by blocks, to create your, your architecture.